Beautiful. All right. Hello. I am back. Again. Again. Um, to demonstrate things with the pedals. Uh, today, there's the single cross pedal, a crossover pedal that I make. The Barber Direct Drive is back for reasons that I will explain shortly. The Dimension C is a classic chorus pedal that is made by Boss, and definitely not me. And also the Line Selector, my trusty mixer, because uh, I can't seem to find the people that made the micro mixers that I was hoping to use for these videos. Anyway, <coughs> I'm also assisted today by the uh, Ibanez ATK series bass with... Um, a lace bass bar in it because the factory pickup was actually all the electronics sort of crapped out. Usually Ibanez and electronics are really good, but I don't know. Anyway, uh, I wanted a little more sustain here. Um, I'm doing something different here again. Surprise. Um, today I have wired up the single cross with the bass plug direct into it, of course, and the high frequencies are going to the Barber Direct Drive uh, just to give it a little bit more edge so I can pretend this my round bond strings aren't completely dead. And the low frequencies are going to the chorus. Because I had a steel guitar player tell me that he wanted to do something like this, and I'm like, why would you want to do your effects only on the low frequencies where they're harder to... But it turns out it's pretty neat, so let me play it for you. Um, I'll just play some notes. All right, so just to start with... Apparently the dimension C is, as usual, an inverting pedal. Um, the uh, ATK is a very mid-range forward bass. And without the direct drive, really not much going on. So, a little, little sparkle on it. That's fun. All right, let's turn on the chorus. Uh, showing off my massive bass chops here. Okay. Now, um, here, I'll just turn the levels down so you can... Here's the bass. Right, low frequencies. There's a little, little chorus on there. I'm setting two here, you can always tell when you look straight down at it. And then, um, here's the treble. Oh, it's... Totally the kind of riff that you would want chorus on, right? And I always use chorus on my rockabilly bass lines. Actually... It's kind of weird, because... Pretty sure I've heard that tone on albums, and I never figured out how they got it. So I think the idea is it simulates the effect of an old school pedal that doesn't really do high frequencies at all, and so you get a really clean attack. In fact, with a little bit of an overdrive on it, it sounds forest anyway for some reason. You put the bass back in. It's subtle. We're in, we've moved into the world of subtle here from the last video with all the overdrive and compression. And Wish these strings were a little newer. I mean, I suppose if I wanted them to be newer, I could buy new strings. I don't know. That's pretty much what that sounds like. I wonder what it's like finger style here. Weird. 
Listening to it, it sounds like the overdrive is chorused. But I promise you. See, there it is. your brain puts the low frequencies and the high frequencies together. It's really cool. I've discovered something that I did not know was possible here. So now I'm curious to try other um, time-based effects with a clean high frequency blend. Yeah, pretty neat. Um, all right, well, I've taken up enough of everybody's time. Bye. Stop, stop. It's supposed to stop now. Stop, good. I'm done. I'm quitting now. <laughs>